Hey, Doc, can you bring, um, help me pick Princess up for me? I need to give her a skin scrape. You finally get back to work, now I gotta, I gotta do the work That's for you? That's why we're a team. I'm still recovering from my accident, and I have to take it easy until I'm able to do surgery again. Today, I'm doing a basic skin scrape on Princess. Princess is a foster that's boarding at the clinic. We're trying to get her skin healthy so she could get adopted and find a forever home. Hey, I got some goats. Goats? Who wants to see some goats. goats? I received a phone call from a woman who has a goat farm, and I love farm calls. I didn't get any in Vegas. There's no farm there. But now that we're in Texas, I'm all over it. I want to go out to this place. She got some goats. She wants some uh, microchips in. Microchips? That's easy. You microchipping goats? She said they get lost. The goats get lost. She wants some microchips in them to help identify them. It is a little bit abnormal to microchip goats. I've never done one. But I mean, it's, it's no different than microchipping a dog or cat. But I mean, if this owner is concerned about her goats getting lost, a microchip would be a perfect way to identify them. I'm serious. Look, we got 18 goats to do. We? You you just volunteered yourself. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to go? Yeah, I'm almost done giving Princess this skin scrape. Can I drive? We both about to be out the game. He talking about some he drive. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun to be fun. I'm excited. I'm good to go. I love goats. First, they're one of my favorite animals. If I have like top five animals, goats is on there. They're really nice. They're docile animals for the most part. They're very fun to deal with. You know who really turned me on the goats? Dr. Ralph Noble. No, I remember Dr. Noble. Dr. Noble, man. When I was an undergrad at Skeegee, he taught me all about it. I loved it, man. I've always wanted to do like the cowboy thing, man, because in the city, we didn't have none of that. I really want to do more large animals. It's just, I mean, we're in the perfect place for it. I know. That's what I'm saying. You don't run from goats, right? Dr. Noble said you don't run from goats. I can't run from anyway. <laughs> you in trouble. Males easy. If they got horns, you just grab them by the horns. You go. Just don't let them, you know, they do that, ghost do that, jump up and hit you in your face, though. So don't get that plate. Let me ask you, did you find out if they had, like, a hard surface for me to roll on? You think you can push me? <laughs> I ain't been working out, bruh. I can tell. <laughs> Hi. Welcome to Dewberry Farm. It's really cool here. It's 100 acres of farmland. It's got pony rides, a carousel, and even a petting zoo, which is where the goats come into play. I understand you want your uh, your goats all microchipped and everything? Yes, I do. Okay. I do need some help that way. It's not a problem. Go follow me. Yes, ma'am. After you, Dr. Ross. Thank you, sir. Go ahead and slow bop on in. Back it up, Sit guys. See if you can, they're going to run. They're very people okay. friendly. Goats have very colorful personalities. They're, they're only going to warm up to who they want to warm up to or who they know. Dr. Ross, I'll bring them to you and do the chipping. If you don't mind holding. Perfect. Hold on, goats, you know you gotta watch your back. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Blue. Get there you go. Get him. <sighs> Push him this way. <laughs> Come on, bring him over here. Oh, my knee. Oh, oh. <laughs> Dr. Blue is having a little bit of problem getting a couple of those goats. You have to have a few people helping you. They're hard to round up. What do you think you're having a heart attack? Is it the left arm or the right arm? I'll show you how it's done. You have to work smarter, not harder. What you did was foolish. No, the goat was way over there. What are you going to call it? Yeah, watch this. Come on. Oh, you just have to have that touch. Mm-hmm. Once you get hold of the goats, chipping them is very simple. You want to get checked while you're here, too? <laughs> First, you scan the goat to make sure they don't already have a microchip, and then you insert the actual chip underneath the skin with the needle. One down, 15 to go. Whoa! Whoa. Uh, you come here! <laughs> Are you good to go? You got it over there? I got one. Perfect. I have one as well. I'm a Matter of fact, Doc, I got two. Doc, yeah. I, have, I have three. I'll say just come to you, huh? You're like the Pied Piper of goats. Now that the goats are being chipped, if the goats were ever lost, they were taken to a veterinary hospital uh, or a shelter, animal control picked them up, they would scan them. The information of Mary's would come up and it would allow the person to be able to call to let her know, hey, look, we found your goats. Come get them. Hold on, hold on, big guy. Hold on, big guy. Perfect. Ooh. Good to go. That was good? All right. So what's that your That was the last one. We got everybody chipped up. 
Anything else you guys need us to do? Yes, I do. When I let them out on our property, we have about 100 acres. Sometimes at night when you're trying to find the animals, yes. it's hard to find them. I can understand that. And we that. do have predators out here. You know, you have coyotes That's and, a big problem and for goats. owls and stuff like that. So, you know, I don't want anything to happen to them. And I want to be able to track them. Modern things they have now for GPS and stuff like that. And you can find it where your phone is, find my phone. Can I find my goat? Uh -huh. That's a good question. <laughs> uh, find my goat. TM. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, I like that. I like that. We have to build an app for that. What we can do is maybe do some research on it. I, I've never heard of a goat tracker. Looks like we got some more homework. See if we can get these little guys some, some type of global tracking device. That'd be great. That'd be great. Okay. Okay. We'll Thank figure you. it out. All right, thank, thank you. you all so thank much. You. Mike, meaty, meaty Mike. What's up? Check me out, man. What's up? I goat. So you remember uh, at Dewberry Farm, they had the goat issue, me and Ross were telling you about? Yeah. We just went high tech on them boys. High tech? They got it all wrapped up. Right here, world's first goat tracker, trademarked by yours truly. Really? Bro. So our goat's getting out. We put these on the goats. We get to track the goats. I think it's a great idea. It's actually a standard GPS tracker, but we have it attached very snugly to a, a very heavy duty collar. Once we put those collars around those goats, we can just track their exact location. Let's put it on one of these dogs and see how far they go when they walk. You didn't make it up, the, this company made it up. You're just the first one to put it on a goat. You heard what you just said? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody shot a rocket into space before somebody rode the rocket and landed on the moon. Hey, Brian. Yes, sir. Hey, can you bring me a uh, princess, please? Not a problem. Thank you. This, come on, watch this. I'm gonna show you something. Hey, B. Hey. How's she doing today? Pretty good. So Princess is a dog that we have boarding with us. She's very healthy, very energetic. She wanted to go outside. Figured we put the GPS tracker on her to see how far it goes and how good we could track it. Man, what are y'all doing in here? Are those the trackers? Those are the goat trackers. <gasps> they finally came in. Brian, you mind taking them for a good little walk with me? Not at all. Maybe we just walk the whole campus a little bit. All right. See how she's doing today. Take your time, no rush. So let me see how this thing's gonna work, man. So look, what we're gonna do is we can just hit this little live track button. Hit this little live track button. You track them live. Zoom right in. Watch this. It got miles per hour. Look, you can see I'm walking down Luetta right now. What's the range on? How far? Oh, this is GPS, global. The G stands for global. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, uh, it does it anywhere. So you got the street view, and then you can track the movement. Look at this. Boom. Ooh, that's nice. Huh? I think Mary gonna like this. She gonna love it. back at the goat farm, I'm pretty excited to show Miss Mary what I have to help her track these goats. I'm pretty pumped. We got the answers. <laughs> All right. We figured it out. I think you guys are gonna, you're gonna be excited about this one. It's a little bit of a right. ingenuity, some science, and some technology yeah. all combined. Oh, cool. So what we have here is an actual GPS tracker and a common leash, very durable. You shouldn't be able to chew through these or anything like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put around your new goats. Dr. Ross will pull up on yeah, the uh, app so you can see exactly where we are in actual real time. All right. We'll go ahead and grab them so we can go ahead and GPS them. Okay. Yeah, it's getting close to eating time, so they're a little bit more tame. Okay. That's always good. All right, Doc, you want to go ahead and GPS this one for me? Okay. Let's see if this fits. Yeah. All right, goat. <laughs> How's that feel? It's like a new piece of jewelry for you. All right, got that one on there? Well, let's go ahead and uh, gear up the I want to see it digital syncing following device thingamajig. There they are. Yes. We have 100 acres out here. So they can be almost anywhere, in the trees, in the cornfield. And so it's nice to know that you can see right there where they are, and we can go out and get them. I've right, got a couple more here. All right. 
Come here, goats. Hey, man. What you doing? Oh, Ross. Yeah, Ross, real time. Easy, 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 easy. You all right? Nope. Did he faint? Uh-uh, baby. A baby? Yeah. She's having a baby right now? All right. Uh, oh, yeah. Notice mama's laying down. And I noticed the head sticking out here. Mary, so what's happening right now is a kid that's a lot larger than the space to come out. Oh, my goodness. So she's being strangulated right now. Oh, my goodness. And what we're trying to do is just get her to work out. During delivery, you know, we, we prefer that the goats come out with the legs first. That way we can make room and kind of squeeze those shoulders between the, the pelvis a little bit better. When those legs are tucked behind them, it's just very difficult for the head and the shoulders to actually come through the birth canal the proper way. They're not able to come out safely all the time. Dr. Ross, can you call her? Yeah. I'm gonna go with some loot. Come on, mama. We wanna try to do the best we can to save this kid as well as the mom. Hold on, there it is. Come on, mama. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. You got it, Bob? Yeah, any progress? Nah. I lube it up, try to get one of those legs out. Yeah. Hold on, mama. Good. Mm -hmm. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Do you feel the legs? <laughs> yeah. Trying to get behind the scapula. Her shoulder, yeah. I'm gonna pass this. So, Still the kid's breathing. okay, yeah? yeah. How's Always the mama doing? Feet. Mama's doing well, she's in a lot of pain. Yeah. Yeah. Help me stand her up. Already, I got the head. Come on. Ah. Come on, this pelvis ah. has got me locked in. The fetus head being so large, compared to this opening, her shoulders being tucked behind her. Yeah. Issue is, the wall actually starts to, the canal starts to strangulate. And her, I mean, her arms are completely tucked behind her. 100% tucked behind her. Because of sepsis, excessive bleeding, time is of the essence because both of their lives depend on it. How are we doing? If we want to try to save, we need to get to an operating table. <laughs> 